Love them or hate them, in some way we are all fascinated by sharks. These fish have ancestors that date back to prehistoric times, and every year they are celebrated during Shark Week, which is actually next week. Sea Life Michigan Aquarium is hosting a series of events to celebrate and joining us to talk about what you can do as Asher Berg, curator at Sea Life. What's up, Asher? Hi. Oh, we got Shark Week start starting up. <laughs> Well, thanks for being with us. Uh, tell us a little bit about the sharks that you have on display there. Oh, man, we've got 10 different species of sharks and rays. Um, the largest shark that we have here is our nurse shark, and her name is Florence. She's spectacular. If you ever see a nurse shark here, it's Florence. Um, we have even small little sharks. In fact, it's a, it's a short-tailed nurse shark that almost no one sees here. She's adorable. She's in one of the last displays that we have and she eats little bits of pieces of frill and hides all day long. But when she comes out, she's spectacular. She's so cute. We were just looking at a video of the sharks swimming around. How do you stop them from eating the little fish? Oh, well, I mean, that's just it, right? So we offer them a, a really good diet of a wide variety of items. Uh, I don't mean to keep panning the different things, but so things like mackerel, even clams, if you can believe it, they can break clams with their, with their jaws. And we hmm. keep them so well fed that everything that they're swimming around with, that's not dinner. That's just a friend. <laughs> <laughs> shark Week is next week. Let's talk about how people can become a shark expert at Sea Life and what they will learn. If you come on in, you'll be able to investigate kind of all the different sharks that we have in the displays. We've got the Bay of Rays, which has three different varieties of sharks and uh, stingrays. You'll actually get to come in and see. If you look in the Bay of Rays, you'll actually find little teeny tiny shark eggs from our breeding bamboo population, bamboo sharks. It looks like these. Okay, so you, uh, oh, something else? Oh yeah, just take a look. What do you got there? Yeah. Check it out. Um, we've also got, I mean, if you come in, we'll get an opportunity to kind of look at these teeth, right? And if you look behind each little set of teeth, there's a brand new row coming in. It's called the Synthesteel Oral. And cool. you'll actually, if you get close enough to these sharks, you'll get to see that. Each time a shark eats, they lose a little tooth. One tooth, one, one or two teeth. Oh my God, I can't speak to <laughs> um, And each time that tooth pops out, a new teeth or a new tooth pops right back in. It's amazing. And that provides them the opportunity to always have sharp teeth when they need to get some sort of prey item. Huh, I learn something new every day on this show. I, you just reminded me that when I was a kid, I actually had a shark's tooth necklace that I wore. Uh, what's Very the biggest? Popular. Yeah, what's the biggest misconception you think people have about sharks? I think that they're just mindless, you know, eating machines. Really, if you come and see the displays, all those fish in there have been with those sharks basically since the beginning of this facility, and they're not going around eating everything. They're only going to hunt when they're hungry, and honestly, they're not that hungry all the time. They eat in the wild once, maybe a week, once every two. Wow, all right. Well, where can people get more information like that? Well, come check out our facility. You can even go online. We've got tickets for sale, I'm sure. Come on in and we'll, we'll show you around. You know, incidentally, Asher, you should know that uh, I grew up playing in television and one of my favorite games to play on that console was Shark Shark. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> you never like Shark Shark. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Good to see you. Yeah. Good to see you, too. Bye.